Welcome everybody to Doppelganger Eo No Exorcist. Or if you'd rather have the English title, Blue Exorcist. Or if you want the French title, Exorcist Bleu. Just go with it. If you're unfamiliar with Doppelganger, it's a series of mine where I take one anime, in this case Blau Exorcist, uh, that one's German. <laughs> it all ties together, because Doppelganger is a German word. Anyhow, I take an anime and give other shows that are very similar to that exact one. Sometimes the resemblance are pretty obvious, and other times, well, you'll need my explanation for it. So before we begin, I figure it's my duty to tell you more about Blue Exorcist. The story follows a teenager who learns he's the son of Satan. Satan's looking for a new body so that they can conquer Isaiah together. Rin, the main character, cut in the middle, decides to side with his brother instead whilst becoming an exorcist. Candidate number one, The Grey Man. When it comes to similarities, I think that The Grey Man should be the closest contender. First of all, the ambience is almost identical. Both Rin and Alan are exorcists, they both enter an organization about hunting and dispelling dark arts. The two manga are ongoing, and they're both done by female mangaka. Not that it makes it a key factor, but it's a fun fact considering so few mangakas are female. Main characters also fight demons with a weapon respective to their style, and they also both have adoptive fathers. The key reference, however, will be no doubt this lingering dark, ever so slightly god aspect. If you like obscure show, try this one. They're also both shonen. Candidate number two, Devil's a part-timer. This time, no exorcist involved. Per se, you could argue Emmy is somewhat of an exorcist since she's trying to kill straight up Satan, but hey, semantics. Beyond that, you'll see the resemblance to be quite striking. Both shows are shown and focused on action, yet comedy still plays a heavy part in it as well. If you like stories that involve a not-so-average character having to live in the human world, well, you'll have a blast with this one. Nonetheless, the art is also very similar. There's great fight scenes in both, and to be honest, they also have the same basic premise of the demon lord Satan who wants to take control of the human with his powers. I'll grant you that Blue Exorcist is a little more serious, though. <laughs> Candidate number three, Bleach. In the West, we call them exorcists. They're somewhat popular. In the Japanese culture, though, what's more prominent is the Shinigami. And while they're two jobs entirely different, they both focus on excising evil from society. Most of the similarities will devolve from the main characters. They both start off as your everyday guy who has handed powers beyond his understanding. With that in mind, he'll have to step up to the plate and get rid of the evil surrounding him. Since the main protagonist in both case is mostly a jock with hardly any thought in his head, he'll have to rely on his friend pretty often. And finally, there's a big focus on swords and bow shows, so if you like Blade's weapon, well, you'll find your match with this one. Provided you don't already know about Bleach, if you've been living under a rock. Oh, 
にいる相手してたら気にがねえCandidate number four, Noragami. All right, let's get around to that one. Noragami, first up, art style. I'd say it's even above the one of Blue Exorcist. Maybe it's just me, but god damn, man, that show is beautiful. Main character is a black hair, blue eyes sword user that slay demon slash evil. Get, get it? Because sword slashes. <laughs> I haven't slept in a while, sorry about that. There won't, there won't be any more puns, I promise. The supernatural factor is quite heavy in both shows, and again, the religion aspect is on par with the theme. Nothing too overwhelming, but it's both based on actual religion, although Noragami is more inclined on the Shinto religion. There is also less episode for Noragami than Blue Exorcist, but it's not worth cutting it, huh? <laughs> Damn it, I said it was done! <laughs> Candidate number five, Bloodlad. Bloodlad is a solid entry. Again, it's only a short anime of 10 episodes, but you'll see the resemblance to be quite shocking. The main character in both shows are permanently from the same mold. They have a personality lookalike, and even what they face is somewhat similar, having to deal with a problem people impose onto you. Action is a main theme, but again, it's still coated with a generous dose of comedy, which makes a great balance. If you like Blue Exorcist, there's no way in hell you're gonna dislike Bloodlad. The ambience is too close alike for you to hate it. Candidate number six, Soul Eater. Once you've hit Soul Eater, you'll love it. It's seriously dark world where comedy comes every now and then to tame down the seriousness of the show. The art is somewhat close alike with this Halloween overtone and odd academy. Battle are stunning in both cases and the story can keep you hooked on its own. The cast is extremely colorful despite the dark theme. Friendship, teamwork and leadership play a massive role in Soul Eater and in Blue Exorcist. And finally, a lot of demon variety will keep you intrigued in the show from start to finish. Had you not seen this anime, I highly recommend you jumped on it, because I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. But that's not all for the simple price of putting your time into watching anime. If you've liked Blue Exorcist, you'll be sure to be moved by these amazing honorable mentions. Nurarian Nomago, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Demon King Daimaho, Attack on Titan, Tokyo Raven, Supernatural The Animation, or even Tokyo Ghoul. So I hope this episode of Doppelganger Blue Exorcist was to your liking. If not, well, make sure to tell me which anime you would like to see me doppel next. That's not a verb, Misty. You can't verb any words you want. Nonetheless, I'd love to hear your input about this. Do you think some other shows would fit the bill better? Make sure to follow me on Twitter or subscribe for more. You can also support me by purchasing my novel. If you like anime or demons, you'll be surprisingly pleased with the story. Catch you guys next time.